Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Uh, so I haven't done one of these in a while, but this video is going to be a game review. Um, it's for a game I've recently finished a story. I haven't got all the achievements on it because um, a few of them are multiplayer based and I don't really have anyone else to play it with. And I don't really trust a majority of people online to, you know, play it with. Um, but the game I'm talking about today is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, I believe it came out in 2019. I'm just going over, um, like, just I'm just in the store, basically, because I wanted to have a look at the description for it. Oh, it's literally there. Uh, it was released October the 4th, 2019. Um, so it's essentially a Ubisoft shooter. If you played, like, Tom Clancy's, like, Rainbow Six, it's sort of like that. Uh, Ghost Recon is more an explorer type one rather than being in the set area. Um, so I played it, I'm trying to remember when I first played it. I think I played it about four months ago. Uh, I'm just going to go over my achievements for it. Just because I want to see when I start. Because I started it on a free play days weekend. And um, at first I wasn't going to, but one of the main selling points for it for me, which I'll go over in a second like i said i just want to find where the start date for it was uh just give me one second it's been a bit slow though. that's the problem with having too much game score is it takes forever to load the profile up so i first played it in july uh 17th of july for the weekend sorry i'm being itchy um yeah 17th of july for the weekend and I was thinking of not buying it at first um, because I was like, you know, I was, it, was, it felt like one of those games where it's going to take a really long time to do everything. Um, the way it works, it's sort of like most games, it's sort of similar to like Destiny where you just keep doing missions over and over again to get better level, like better level gear, so like weapons, guns, all that stuff. The nice thing about it was there was a lot of different options. So you can have a casual version, you can have a sort of realistic version where you're more likely to get injured, you take more damage. You can only hold one big weapon, one small weapon, uh, like a limited amount of supplies, or you can put, like I put it on the casual version because I wanted to have fun with it. Um, if I wanted to challenge myself with it, the option was there. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it on the weekend playing it. Uh, they knocked it down to, I think it was like 67, essentially two thirds off. So instead of paying £55 for it, I only paid like £17 for it. I know it's not the exact maths, but they put it, they put it down from 54 99 to 16 99 um, So basically after the weekend, I was like, yeah, you know what, I'll buy it because I had fun with it. Um, it's It's been one of those things, I've, I've had it a couple of times with games. I've had the similar with State of Decay 2, where I play it at first, I find it interesting... And then, like, after a few days or so, it sort of, like, just feels like a bit of a drag just to play it. Um, I kept putting it off, like, multiple times. It wasn't until literally the past week or so. Um, like, I literally went back to it, like, a week later, played a few bits of it. Um, and then it was, like, an another week until I actually did anything on it. It was just for the sake of an achievement, I think, I was getting as part of some challenge I was doing for True Achievements. And then it wasn't until late October where I've actually got back into it and I've now finished the story. Um, I thought at one point I might have accidentally jumped the gun on the story, um, but I think the option is there because you go for it first and then you have to come back later. Um, the story is you're part of this ghost recon team. So essentially you've been sent to, I think it's called Aurora or something like that. Um, sort of like Aurora, but it's just without the O in the middle, I think. Um, and you've got, like, your character's name Nomad. You can customise how he looks, um, which I I pretty much kept it as neutral as it already was uh, because I'm not that huge on customisation, um, like, especially if it's a first-person game. Like, I played Fallout for a bit. Fallout, for me, it makes no sense customising your character's looks because you're playing in first-person, so you're not really going to see them. Um, I feel like almost the same with Borderlands. I know that's sort of, like, skins and stuff like that, but it does real, doesn't really feel like it's worth doing because you're not going to see the person. Um, so, yeah, I kind of kept it a bit neutral. 
your helicopter crashes, you just survive, but your one of your comrades gets killed by uh I think it's Colonel Cole Walker, Captain Cole Walker. Uh and basically he's a wolf that's gone rogue. It's sort of military guy that he thinks he's doing right, but he has to take he's taking whatever steps to do what's right. Um but yeah, he's like taking out his own people because he thinks they're gonna stop his plans essentially. And you have to essentially stop him yourself. Um which you do early on, but I think like it's one of those things where the mission's there to kill Walker. Or you can basically do everything else and come around to it. I kinda went off to kill him first. It took a while, but I think basically I needed higher gear and a bit more preparation of what I was doing. Um but the main selling point for this game for me was the person that plays Cole Walker, his name is John Bernthal. Um, I first saw him in The Accountant with Ben Affleck. He plays the brother. Um, like I know he was also in Walking Dead before that, but I've never watched The Walking Dead. So my first experience with John Bernthal was The Accountant. I really loved that movie. Uh, I feel like it's a bit underrated. Uh, like I'm definitely recommending watching that. Um, he's also recently been in, in the Marvel's The Punisher that was on Netflix, which unfortunately got cancelled. I watched a two series of that. He's brilliant at uh, being The Punisher. It is a shame they didn't carry him on the third season. Um, he's he's one of those actors to me. He's typecast, but in a good way. So he's some guy with a military background that basically it's, it's like... Yeah, not like come back to haunt him type thing but he has he just has that military background which sort of messes his psyche a bit um and basically this is very similar um it's one of those games as well where obviously because of the that like, came out last year the facial capture and everything looks really good um like i i'm i believe he did the facial capture himself because they like he has certain like facial not like twitches but he just has like these certain looks on his face that he does sometimes you see it a lot in like the Punisher and the Accountant, it's like especially when he like turns away. Um, like they definitely pick that up. Uh, but that was pretty much my main selling point because I think he's a brilliant actor. Um, like in the few things I've seen him in, he's been really good in. Uh, he's also in Baby Driver. Um, I believe he's the one that sort of bullies uh, Baby Driver, like basically knocks the shades off his head. Um, like it's the scene where he's got the earphones and he's like, "Oh, is this guy even listening to what he's saying?" And then basically just recaptures it all. Um, yeah, so, like I said, it, it was one of those games where, just for me personally, it's not, I think it was just because, similar to, like, Far Cry and Assassin's Creed, each game they kept bringing out was much bigger. Uh, I never played Wildlands before as well, I think I need to get that at some point, like, maybe Wildlands explains Breakpoint a bit more. Um, the way it ends, it sort of feels like there's going to be a sequel in the works. Um... Yeah, like I said, the, the more I played it, the more fun I had with it. Um, like, adjusting the settings, choosing different weapon types. You get different class types as well, so you can sort of be an assault, medic, uh, panther, which is sort of stealth-based, um, and then a sniper. And then they put three more classes on later on. I think, like, they've had, like, a few DLC packs since then. Um, I know an engineer as well, and I can't remember the other two because I didn't get them. Um... You can like upgrade certain things as well. So like you can upgrade items you carry. Uh, you get perks for your character as well. So you can increase like XP gains using your handgun. You can increase the radar range. Uh, you can increase your like stealth and range uh, damage to drones and stuff like that, um, which is a lot of fun. Like I didn't use a drone too much myself, but um, like I. Like, when you get to, like, the elite weapons, when you get late, later on, they definitely come in handy. Uh, each weapon has different perks, depending on its rarity as well. Um, the blue ones, you tend to get, like, XP bonus and maybe a minor boost in the technique cooldown or handling. Um, whereas, like, the epic and elite ones uh, tend to get you, like, plus 20 reload speed or plus 30 damage. Like, 30% damage, not plus 30 damage on top of the weapon. Um... Like, ones that really help out. Uh, but yeah, like, the story to it is mainly you're trying to get down coal and the company he's working for. You have to save the head of the company uh, and then basically convince him that what he's done is actually bad 
and someone else is using his stuff against him. So you have to basically go and save other people uh, whilst killing some of Cole's, like, I guess, not like associates, but they're sort of like, you know, in games when they have like the lower tiered boss that's sort of working for the bigger guy. So he has like four separate ones. And basically, after you kill all four, they have these this bit of paper with like a little line from like some poem, and they all basically lead to the secret area where you then have to rescue the last person, and then you're supposed to go like who basically has the virus to stop all the drones because essentially they're sending off a submarine to basically like I I I think they send off the submarine to then set off a bunch of missiles like across the world um and basically you have to stop that so you have to put, like implant this virus but you need these certain scientists and stuff to be able to do that um yeah like i said i like i think for me it was like like maybe i oversaturated it in the weekend i played it like i played it every now and then for a couple of days or so um but then like like i said the past week or so i've had a lot of fun playing it i've been playing it for hours on end um like playing into the late hours mainly like mainly the late hours is because uh i work 7 p.m till midnight for a couple of days so i kind of want to be up until about 3 a.m or so and this has sort of been keeping me busy um yeah like I've, I've seen like the reviews on it people saying like wildlands is better and stuff like i said i haven't played wildlands myself i just enjoyed this one which is just because john bernthal was in it i was kind of disappointed when you do have to kill him in the end uh like I would, I would say it's a spoiler, but you kind of guess based on the first five minutes you're gonna to have to kill him anyway. Um, but like I said, I think I may have accidentally jumped the gun because I went straight to killing him. Um, I probably should have done the rest of the mission. Then he should have been the last one to go after, and then you um, upload the virus to stop all the drones. But the, like I said, the way they end it, it basically shows that maybe someone higher up was behind it. Um, so then you'll have to go and stop them at some point. Um, you, uh, collectibles wise, they're not majorly important. There are achievements for certain things, um, like blueprints for weapons. You can find them in like bases. Uh, there's like collectibles of like information. Some of them you do need story wise. The others not so much. Uh, the rest kind of just help with an XP boost. You can find weapon attachments. You can find... Like I said, you, you, so not like similar to Borderlands, I guess, but like you can find a lot of weapons along the way. Um, like you get the occasional drop of weapons and sometimes they're the same level as what you had before. Sometimes they're a level up and obviously it's up to you what your like preferred type is. I'm a, for me personally, I'm a bit more of a salt person. I'm not really a fan of waiting around and like having to take my time. Like, sometimes I will. Like, I I did experiment with, like, being a sniper and a medic and all that. The medic gets the benefit of, if they get knocked down, they have a perk where they can revive themselves. Whereas, normally, you just die straight away, unfortunately. Um, yeah, like I said, like, I've already gone over the story and everything. I, like I said, I enjoyed the gameplay of it. I feel like the, the reason I got put off, like I said, with the whole Far Cry, Assassin's Creed thing, with each one, they kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where you're like... I'm going to have to invest so much time in this that you just sort of like, even before doing anything, it sort of just puts you down a bit because you're a bit like, you know, because it's just so much to do. But I think once I just put that mindset behind me and actually got on with it, actually had fun with it. Um, whether there'll be a sequel, I don't know. I guess that's probably what they're working on next. I know um, Rainbow Six Siege is still doing a lot for them. I don't know how well received for this was in general i enjoyed it for what it was maybe at some point i'll pick up wildlands and see what that's like seems a bit weird if i'm playing it backwards um but yeah that's pretty much gonna be my review for uh tom clancy's ghost recon breakpoint i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten um like i said i enjoyed it for what it was uh i think i sort of just overdid it myself when i first played it um i think just for me personally if you want to do everything, it does take a while. I think if you get straight on with the story, it's not too bad. The story could probably take about six hours if you know what you're doing and just get straight on with it. But because I was doing all like the collectibles based stuff and uh, stuff like that, it just kept going on for days and days. And I think I just started wearing myself out more and more. Uh, once I got into the story, I was a bit more 
focused and actually spent time on playing it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, bonus for John Bernthal being in it. Um, I've recently been playing Star Wars Dead Eye Fallen Order as well. I've just started that not so long ago. And the motion capture in that is really good, especially for Cal. Um, like, they just manage to get every, like, bit of, like, facial recognition, well, facial recognition, all the little things like lip twitches or, like, eyebrow raises, stuff like that. It just looks really good. Um, like, one of the issues I had with this, like, it's not too much of an issue. You sort of get, you do get in a lot, especially with games that have come out the past few years, is they get the person's face, they have the lips moving, but the problem is the teeth don't really move. So it looks like they're just talking with their teeth, just happens to be, be behind them. Um, it's only with certain words where the mouth just suddenly goes ah like that. Um, so yeah, whereas like I said with uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I feel like they've done that really well, where like everything looks like he's actually saying it properly. Um, like I said, that's probably just how motion capture has now evolved over the past few years. So yeah, uh, that's my review for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, I'll probably do another one soon, depending on what I finish. Um, like i'm sort of like doing a lot of daily stuff right now so i've just done like i'm doing crash team racing stuff i'm doing nba 2k20 stuff i'm doing gears 5 stuff i need to one point play star wars Jedi for an order i've been back on my ps3 for a bit so it's a bit all over the place you know but I'm, i'll see about doing another one of these and what the game will be i'm not sure but uh thank you for watching this video and i shall hopefully see you in the next one